In this GIMP Beginner's Guide, we'll look at the clone and healing tools. Now these tools are very similar. With each of them you create a source area and then you copy the source to another area. But the clone tool copies the source exactly, whereas the healing tool only copies the pattern or texture of the source, not the colour. And I'll show you that with this photo. Here I'll copy part of the grass area to the sky. So first of all, I'll use the clone tool. So I'll click on the clone tool to select it. And now I'll place my cursor on the area that I want to use as a source, which in this case is the grass. Now to create my source here, I hold down the control key on my keyboard, click my left mouse button and release the control key. And when I move my cursor away, you'll see that there is a circle with a cross on it. And that's indicating that that area is my source. So I'll take my cursor up to the sky and click it. And you'll see that I've now created a perfect copy of my source area in the sky. Now I'll do the same thing with the healing tool. I'll click on the healing tool to select it and I need to set a new source so I'll go back down to the same grass area hold down my control key click my left mouse button and release the control key and I'll take my cursor back up and put it beside the cloned copy and click and now you can see the difference the cloned copy is an exact copy, whereas the healing copy has only copied the pattern or texture of the grass. It actually got its colour from the recipient area, which in this case was the sky. Now you can also hold down your mouse button and drag. And as you drag your cursor, you notice that the source is moving as well and you are copying exactly what is underneath the source at that moment. And when you release your mouse button and stop dragging, the source will snap back to its original position. Now you can also use the clone tool to copy things. For example, if I wanted another tree like this, I could click on my clone tool to select it, Set my source at the base of the tree and then placing my cursor where I want the new tree to be. And I'll hold down my left mouse button and just drag my cursor up. And as I drag it up, my source is moving as well and it's copying whatever's underneath it. And in this way, I can actually copy the tree. And again, when I release my mouse button and stop dragging, my source will go back to its original position. So that was a quick look at the tools. Now I'll close the project and I'll open another one to help show you how you can use these tools to tidy it up. Now with this photo, you really should notice the bird, but the marks in the background are really distracting. But it's really easy to tidy it up. Now because I don't want to change the base colour, I'm going to use the healing tool. So I'll click on the healing tool to select it, and I'll find an unmarked area to use as my source. And again, to set it as the source, I simply hold down my control key on the keyboard click my left mouse button and release the control key. And now I'll just click and drag my mouse over the shadows and holes and tidy it up.
Now down here, I'll need to use my clone tool to remove this discoloration. So I'll click on my clone tool and I'm going to set my source just behind the bird's wing. And now I'll simply drag my cursor across that discoloured area copying my source. Now that only took a couple of minutes and as you can see the bird stands out now, not the background. And if you want to see more, you could check out my videos on removing wrinkles with GIMP and repairing and restoring photos with GIMP. But if you have any problems or suggestions, please just leave a comment.